While visiting the Sipik Chicken Grain and Innovation Project in the plains of East Sipik, Maru spoke of manufacturing chicken feed in the country. He says this will have tremendous effect to the poultry industry and economy of the country. We are now also starting a maize farm to look at whether we can actually produce corn or maize on a commercial scale so the company can start to produce chicken feed rather than importing chicken feed from Australia or New Zealand, which is very, very expensive. Papua New Guinea and this farm needs to produce its own feed. And that is a, a challenge that we are working on. And I'm hoping that uh, this farm will be able to, to produce chicken feed. Currently, Papua New Guinea imports chicken feed through various businesses stationed in major centers of the country. He says producing chicken feed locally will cut the cost of imports and add value to farmers and the final product. Feed is over half of the cost of producing a chicken. If we don't remove the, the high cost of imported feed, this country will never compete in terms of prices for chicken. We need to lower the price of chicken in Papua New Guinea. The former National Planning and Trade Minister says it will take the government to make critical decisions to see this happen. He says if the government can commit to huge projects, this initiative will support farmers and steer economic growth. At the present time, Papua New Guinea imports 200 million kina of chicken from outside of our country. There is no need for that. We need to ramp up our production, provide our own feed, reduce the cost of chicken meat imports, and we can compete and in the process create a lot more jobs and a lot more grow business opportunities for our farmers within Papua New Guinea. Jack Lopava Jr. National MTV News.